Hi friends, my name is Chris Elvis at KickMD and I'm here to do your daily vibe check. Today we're looking at Thursday, October the 12th. Thursday, October the 12th, the daily vibe check plans. What is being highlighted, featured, or addressed for Thursday? We have Chiron, inner healing. Very cool. Let's put out our Poe cards here and find out for today, October 12th. Why is Chiron being featured here, please? A little bit more information for the collective. Two cards would do. We have the Ten of Swords. Well, that makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? Recovering and healing from brute force, from an assault and attack. Interesting going down the chimney here. I would say recovering from words that had really no business being spoken. A lot of malice. Recovering from betrayal. Page of Cups. Yeah. And look here, you might even have like a very small um, apology. Even, and I know that, you know, this is Edgar Allan Poe. Um, deck so it's gonna be a little bit spooky but even here like this is an older person I feel like this person should know better than to bring such a small apology and it's like look you need to sign these papers I'm only coming for that sorry about whatever um there's a lot of water that she's treading right here meaning a lot of emotion and yet the amount of you know the apology is small the offer is very very small and it almost seems like there's a need to come towards you for perhaps your signature, perhaps your approval. Um, and I feel like it's a very reluctant apology in this one. So this could have something to do with perhaps uh, people, you know, speaking bad things about you. I hate all this like glare. It's so annoying. Mm -hmm. Glare, glare, glare. Okay. Anyways, uh, it could have something to do with people, you know, overstepping and saying things that they shouldn't have said but definitely with the ten of swords this is like people backbiting talking behind your back um and this is well known it's gone around in circles and it's gotten to the point where it's like what else do they want from me what else do they want to take from me and i feel like maybe you could have left a situation but in the end they're kind of like right we need your signature or we need a final approval on this or you you know were doing projects or something and they need your permission to utilize it uh, whatever the case may be so inner healing is being featured right here and maybe that is what you're currently focused on why are these cards here please a little bit more uh yeah so there's been a major major change these cards are so cool you look at my cards so we have the death card right here, and it looks like there has been a remarkable change. Um, and I almost feel like this portrait is of you, and like you're you're in the know, you're in the loop, you know who has betrayed you, who has said what, and who is just spending so much time and energy like speaking about you that they can't get your name out of their mouths. Um, and it's becoming even suspicious to other people. I think that the walls are cracking. Um, and maybe perhaps this then apology right here is headed towards you because it definitely seems like nobody's willing to take responsibility for that. Uh-huh. Eight of Pentacles that could have to do with work for sure. It could have to do with work or money or a labor of love that you've been doing. But with all of these signatures and documents and things like that. I definitely feel like uh, it could be even having something notarized. It's like somebody's like, oh, yeah, sorry. I haven't talked to you in a long time, uh, whatever, whatever. But I need this notarized, <laughs> you know. And it's like everything that came before that is just a load of crap. It's just basically what they need and what they want. So that's pretty much what I have for you. Much love. And until tomorrow, namaste.